Hi, my name is Bob Allen. Um, my company is Computer Help Services. I've been involved with uh, computers since pretty well the beginning in about 1980 or 81. Uh, and today I'm going to give you a little bit of information about uh, computers, which I call uh, Computer 101. Now, what is a computer? Now, a computer is really a microcomputer. Uh, computers existed before microcomputers, but it's the microcomputer that really set off um, the technology wave that we're enjoying today. And the computer itself is really a computer system. Computers come in different formats, that is different sizes and shapes and different styles. Some examples are a desktop, um, a tower, which is most uh, popular, a laptop, um, a personal uh, a data, a digital assistant or PDAs, and then there's netbooks that are more uh, newer now. There's smaller versions of laptops. Now, what's inside this computer? First and most important in the computer is the microprocessor, or often called the CPU, central processing unit, um, or uh, simply the brain of the computer. Mounted usually on a socket in a printed circuit board called a motherboard, it often runs uh, very hot and must be um, uh, cooled. The speeds of this central processing unit uh, is where the evolution has taken place and it is, although it used to be measured in gigahertz, um, or it's, it's now measured in gigahertz, used to be measured in megahertz. Um, there are various platforms throughout the last uh, 15 years from uh, some familiar things. I'll start at 486 and you've probably heard the term Pentium. Pentium 1, Pentium 2, Pentium 3, and the current generation of Pentium 4s. Uh, and now we even have dual computing, uh, where we used to have dual computing uh, with dual chips on the motherboard, and that is dual CPUs. We now have uh, dual computing within the chip, um, or dual mode. What else is inside this computer? The power supply is in there. The, which supplies the power to the motherboard. And there's a fan to keep the power supply cool and to exhaust the uh, hot air from the cabinet. Um, video and sound functions are on the motherboard. And most importantly today, uh, USB support, uh, so for all your peripheral equipment, and uh, communication section for modem or ethernet or uh, Wi-Fi. Um, to connect uh, wirelessly. Also on the motherboard you have RAM, stands for Random Access Memory, and uh, that's um, a whole other story what that does, but that's evolved over the years. It basically enables multitasking. Um, and then we have drives, so a whole different variety inside this uh, tower. I'll use that example since it's most common. Um, you have a hard drive in there that stores all your programs and your data. Uh, you may have a floppy drive um, that uh, are they're getting older now, but and also uh, CD-ROMs, um, and they are often combined with burners or DVD players, or those can be discrete advice devices. Now, what's outside this box? Now that we've looked at what's inside the box, outside you have a keyboard uh, and a mouse or uh, a pointing device uh, because the mouse does take different uh, forms. Um, you have speakers, microphone, a monitor, a printer, a fax, um, a router or hub, USB accessories such as cameras and many others. So you can see that a computer is really a computer system when you look at the whole, um, uh, at, well, all the things that are on the desktop so to speak. Now the operating system, this is basically software that makes the computer run, um, most commonly from Microsoft, but also from Mac or Unix. Um, there's, uh, this is the software that makes the computer run, that manages the um, system itself. It's a thing that people really don't care about. Um, it's in the background. A lot of people don't even know what operating system they have. Um, we had uh, the evolution of operating system goes back to uh, DOS, disk, disk operating systems, and then the Mac uh, developed um, 
what's called a GUI, a GUI, which is a, a graphical user interface. And then Windows capitalized on that and has introduced and taken over the market with a whole profusion of uh, operating systems that you'll recognize from Windows to Windows 95, Windows 98, Windows ME, uh, Windows XP, um, and Windows Vista, and now uh, introduced actually today is the introduction, official introduction date of Windows 7. Um, then the question is, why do you have a computer? What is it for? And the reason why for a computer is really the application software. It's what you're using it for. You don't really care about all the resources uh, in behind as long as it does what you want it to do. And uh, you don't care what operating system it is as long as it's a current one. But the application software is the important thing. Things like word processing, which might be Word, um, an example of that. A spreadsheet, which might be Excel and presentation software such as PowerPoint. Those are the reasons of why you have the computer and why you're using it. And there are many other special ones like an accounting system, uh, either uh, simply accounting and QuickBooks are the most popular today. Um, you might uh, have a graphics uh, software such as AutoCAD if you're in the design business. And, um, and of course, more and more, the internet and the internet browser, Internet Explorer in the case of Microsoft's uh, and there are others, and Outlook Express for email. Those are all software application programs. And that's pretty well the anatomy of a computer system. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you learned something.